All right, everybody, I just got my metahuman built, and I have no idea what to do with it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Techno V, the number one channel for your tech tutorials, news, and reviews. My name is Viraj Das, and in the uh, Unreal Engine PCG video earlier, I highly recommend you watch it, a lot of you guys asked me in the comments to make a video about how to turn metahumans into third-person characters. So without further ado, let's hop into Unreal Engine 5.2. All right, so here we are in Unreal Engine, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a project, metahuman, third-person, now, you can just add the third person template to any other project and follow the same steps and it will work perfectly. Uh, yes, we want ray tracing. We need metahumans to look fine. But then we're just going to hit create. And we're going to wait until the project loads. See you in a bit. Alright, so now that we're in the project, Let's just test it out. Here we have our good friend and robot, Quinn. We can run around and jump. And keep in mind, once we add the metahuman, it will use all these same animations, same, uh, well, same controls, but different body. So, speaking of metahumans, we need one. So, the first thing we're going to do is just gonna get out of that folder. We're gonna go to add, add Quixel content. It's beautiful. I love Quixel Bridge. Then, metahumans, my metahumans. Just go ahead and download whichever one you want to use. Since I already have mine downloaded, just gonna pick one. Not medium quality. I have mine downloaded on highest quality. So then we're going to click add. And then once that's fully imported, we can just close Quixel Bridge. Make sure that's in there. Yep. There he is. So then what we're going to do is we don't want any more robots. I'm sorry, robots. <laughs> sorry, Quinn. But we want our metahuman. So, just go ahead and open the Blueprint class. Might take a second on the first time. And then we're just going to go ahead and enable all the missing plugins. Should be prompted, yep, to restart. Don't know if you can hear that, my computer is going crazy right now. Okay. We're just going to open back up the metahuman blueprint class. Close that down. Alright, just gonna full screen that. Close. And here we have our beautiful no haired metahuman, very low poly, but that's because metahumans use LODs, level of details. And we don't really want that because this is Unreal Engine 5. So we're just going to force LOD 0, aka the best quality. Going to compile, save, and now we're going to open the class settings. And we don't want our metahuman to be an actor, no. We want it to be a third person character. In a moment you should see our good friend Quinn pop up again. There she is. Then, what we're gonna need to do, we don't want the body under root anymore. We want it under mesh. So we're just gonna grab body, put it under mesh, and that'll bring everything under it. So all the facial hair and all that, torso, legs, feet, everything goes under mesh. But if you just drag body, it'll take all of it with it. And now, poor Root is left all alone. 
But we don't want her either. Goodbye. And when you'll compile it, you will notice. <gasps> we have an error. How dare I lead us to an error? Don't worry, it's it's all it's all supposed to come together like this. So then we just click on this target here with the underline. And it will take us to where the error is. See? It doesn't know what it needs. So we're just gonna drag mesh here. It doesn't know what the target is. And now we can set mesh as the target. So when you compile, it will be perfecto. Okay, then what we're gonna do is, just so I don't forget later, we're gonna go to mesh. We do not want to see mesh, so toodaloo. We're gonna type visible, and we do not want it to be visible. Here's an important part that an important part that people miss a lot. It's they they leave this as always tick pose, but no. We need it as always tick pose and refresh bones. So we're just gonna click that. And then in body, we're gonna th disable the filter by visible. And we're just gonna zero out all the transform values. So now we have Vikas, the metahuman right where we need them. Now, we need to do some more fun stuff. Let's just compile and save quickly. Then, we can go into third person blueprints. We can open the third person character blueprint class. And, shh, don't tell anyone. We're just gonna control C. Go to event graph. Make sure you're in event graph. Very important. Control V. Oh, that that copy and pasted badly. Yet, yeah. quick tip: make sure when you copy and paste it, none of these codes overlap like immediately because it might steal some nodes away. So just be careful about that. Then, we don't want this custom event. Blech. Goodbye. It's time for your new buddy. We're just gonna connect hair LOD setup. And that should work perfectly. Okay, so then we are going to go to live retarget down here in variables. Use live retarget mode and that's a, oh yeah. Now you can already see our metahuman taking on some animations, but Still not the best. So, save all, compile it. We are going to go into the live retarget setup. Yeah, well, actually we're gonna go into the function and we're gonna find this not equal to node and click the browse button. Now it'll open up the content drawer and we can see right here we have this asset. It's uh, anim graph is what we need here. We're just gonna go into the retarget pose from mesh, and now we have a whole other uh, tab here, which has all of the stuff we need, kind of. So right here, we're gonna locate this, and we're gonna duplicate it. I'm not gonna name it this. I'm just gonna name it cooler ik metahuman and then we're gonna use this one okay then we're gonna change the source preview mesh from our metahuman thing to um the mannequin not this one Wait, no, sorry. This one becomes IK Mannequin. This one becomes, yeah, uh, Quinn. Then we're, we're gonna skip this target IK Rig Asset. And we are going to come here and change this to our MetaHumans thing. So mine's is M, me, Med, Medium. 
normal weight body, NRW, and then make sure you're not using the one that doesn't say preview. It has to end with preview. Click, and then make come, come down here to the chain mapping, left arm, and blend a source. Ugh. Goodbye. Scroll down until you find the right arm and do the same. Then, save. Actually, just go ahead and save all. Make sure we haven't left anything, any poor little uh, blueprint uncompiled. And then, we need to do a few more things. I, I think it's just one more. I'm gonna go here into the game mode and change the default pawn class to our metahuman. Oh, sorry. Compile, save. And so, there we go. We have our metahuman working perfectly as a third person character. It's so much fun. You can literally get in close. Looking good. All right, everybody. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I will respond as fast as I can. Or you could put your questions in our Discord channel. That's right. So don't forget to use the link down below and join. And I'll see you in the next video.